and I'm going to get into um, pointers. Um, I did go over it in my C video. If you go to my C video, you can check that out. But I'm going to go over it over here. I don't think I did explain it properly in my C video. I think I really just, I missed the mark on it. So I'm going to go over um, pointers again. I'll explain more of what pointers are, and I'm going to get into references as well, because references are the same type of deal. It's actually an easier way of pointing to something. Easier way of accessing a, um, a variable from a different function or out of its scope. And scope is a big thing in uh, C++ programming. For example, let me just get into something that's that you guys can understand. First off, it's scope. Um, let's just go my main function, okay? I'm going to make an x value. I'm going to make an int x um, equal to 5. Okay, I made index equal to 5. And I'm going to make an if statement. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'll make an if statement, right? So if x is equal to 5, right, I'm going to make a new x value inside that if function. So x is equal to 5, which is true. I'll make a new x value in that if function, right? So I'll make an int x equal to 3. So this is instantiating a new x value inside this if function. This is actually scope right over here in C++. Um, these two curly brackets signify a new scope for this int x. So this int x is equal to 3. cannot see this int x equal to 5. So when I see out the x value, right, after the if statement, let's see what we get with that. So as we, as we can see, we don't get um, x equal to 3. We get x equal to 5. If we were to see out um, the x value inside the if statement after we put in x equal to 3, let's see what we get. See, we get 3 and then we get 5. So, this is just the idea that scope is very important in C. We can make multiple x values inside of a different scope if we want to, because this x value inside the if function cannot see the x value inside the main. So, we can actually do this. It's not good coding, it's not good um, practice, because we're going to actually really get confused with this. <laughs> because we're going to have an x inside the if function, the if scope, and then we're going to have an x inside the main. That's just something to know, and before we get into pointers, that's something to understand. So let's get into pointers, okay? Um, you first create a pointer. I didn't cover this in my C video, but you can create it right off the bat. You don't have to be accepting it from a function created off the bat so let's just do in PTR and the asterisk doesn't matter where the asterisk goes to okay the asterisk can be beside the pointer okay it can be in front of the P there it can be after the uh, T from int it can be um, in the middle so you can have a space uh, the asterisk space and then PTR when you're putting the uh, asterisk you're dereferencing whatever you're referenced to I created my pointer right there by the asterisk if I were to do um, if x is equal to 5, okay, I can make um, that x be pointed, by the pointer. So the pointer can change that x value wherever it is. If it's in a different scope, if it's in a different function, if it's in a different uh, header file, wherever you want. You can actually do PTR, right, without the uh, asterisk is equal to the um, address of x. We do that by PTR is equal to percent and then the variable name. What this is saying is pointer value, okay, itself it's being equal to the address of x. I'm going to do a simple C out of the pointer value and the address of x. So I'm going to do a C out um, PTR, a little space here, and then the address of x. And I'm going to show you that it's uh, pointed to x value. It has the same value. So let's do a C out. You can see they have the exact same um, value. They hold the exact same value. Since we did say pointer is equal to the address of x. When we print out pointer and we print out the address of x, we clearly see they have the exact same value. Okay. Now, in order to uh, change the value of x using the pointer variable, we can do um, the dereferencer. We use the dereference operator. So that is the uh, asterisk. So asterisk PTR, right? We dereference it. We dereference the, uh, where it's pointing to, and it's pointing to the exact same um, variable x's. So we can do um, asterisk PTR is equal to 45, or whatever we want, okay? And then if we were to print out um, the x value again, we'd clearly get 45. Now, the whole point of this is not to do it in the same function as the x value is native to. We can do this inside of a different function. So let's create a different function. I'm assuming you guys know 
what different functions are. Refer to my C video if you do not know how to do it because C++ builds off C. So if you understand C, you understand C++. So let's make a new function. At the top, we're going to do uh, the cast. We're going to cast out the function. Okay, so let's make this a void function. Void um, change. We'll actually accept something. We'll actually accept um, the x value. So we'll make it asterisk ptr2. So we'll make another pointer that's going to accept it. Call this change function. So we'll do change bracket address of x. So we're sending the reference of x to this change function. This change function is accepting it to the pointer. Um, so we set that as in asterisk and then pointer2. And to access the value of x to pointer, we can just do ptr2 equal to um, 100. So it's going to find x uh, because we have the address of x. And we're going to make that value 100. So I'm going to <laughs> I'm actually going to print that out right after. So C out um, x again. So we're going to actually change x from the change function. So we're calling change, sending the address of x, and uh, inside of change we're going to make uh, x equal 100 to the pointer. And we create a pointer 2 from that um, instantiation over there. So we're actually going to have to put this in the cast as well. We can do um, the name of the actual pointer if you wanted to. We can do ptr2. But don't necessarily have to. We can do like that. We can keep it like that. Variable names are um, really just irrelevant at that point when you're casting. All they care about is the type. Keep in mind if we do void change and these two are completely different. So void change int asterisk pointed is different than void change int. That's why it's always good to put the asterisk beside the uh, data type. We don't really want to put it beside the variable name because we're going to lose that in when we're casting. Okay, We're going to lose that. Or we don't want to separate it like this. Because when we want to cast, we're looking at what type of variable it is. And in this case, it's an in asterisk. So we know that when we cast it, we're going to have to put in asterisk. If we do in space asterisk, space pointer 2, then we're going to have a problem because we're just going to say, hey, this is just an integer, right? It's an integer. So we're going to stick integer inside the change, cast. That's not what it is. So it's just for readability purposes, right? It's better to do in asterisk pointer 2. When you want to cast, you're going to say, hey, okay, this is an in asterisk. I'm going to stick that right into the casting function. Okay, so if we compile this, we see the 45, and then we see the change call. And we see the pointer 2 is equal to 100, and then it prints out 100 right after. You can change it in a different scope as well. Since we did, we did talk about that if scope, if uh, x is greater than 0, I clearly showed you that this is a different scope inside these French braces. So we can obviously do pointer equal 67, and that will change the uh, pointer value. C out X. C67 inside there. So that's just a basic on pointers. Um, right now I'm going to get into um, pointers with arrays.